Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here and Android is one of Google's most successful products in recent years. It's been very, very popular lately, uh, but there are a lot of things that people don't know about it and it hasn't always been a very popular and successful product. So without any further ado, here are five true facts about Android. Number five is Android's origins. A lot of people may think that Android is Google's baby. A lot of people truly believe that, but no. Android is adopted. Similar to a lot of existing Google products, Android was picked up as a startup earlier. So originally in 2003, it was being produced and it basically developed by a company called Android Inc. in Palo Alto, California. And uh, the head or founder of that company was Andy Rubin. So you can see where that name came from. They were working on it and developing it since from about 2003 to 2007. And then the original iPhone came out in 2007 and Google decided, hey, all right, we're gonna take this and bring it to the next level. They bought Android for $50 million. They hired Andy and they started developing it into what it is today. Number four is that Android almost didn't happen. Like we said, it was originally funded for around $50 million when Google first bought it, but it almost immediately ran out of that initial funding. And it was in 2003 to 2007, so we don't really have a lot of information about that on the web, but from what we know, it almost immediately ran out and it was basically rock bottom and it started off very hot and then very quickly was a really cold project then it was bailed out by an investment of a few thousand dollars by Android or one of Android's founders originally, Steve Perlman. So it originally it was really hot, then went really, really cold, and then moved back up to a, a higher level project as uh, it was bailed out with some financial problems. Microsoft's Scott Horn, who was at the time the head of Windows Mobile's marketing team, said to Engadget after uh, Android was released that he didn't understand the impact Android would have. So you can see that it started off as a very underrated project. It would probably be in an underrated projects video if I did one, but it was an underrated project and uh, you can see exactly how far it's come today. Number three is that more men than women use Android, like a lot more. Now I did, there is an exception to the rule. There are a couple of exceptions to the rule. I reviewed the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 not too long ago. The link will be down below the like button on this video. Uh, but basically for some reason that phone is really popular with the ladies. I think it's a purse thing, but I don't actually know. But for the most part, actually 73% of Android users as of the end of 2012 are men, leaving 27% as women. Now I don't know how accurate that number is today because it's been a few months since then. Android is still growing in popularity, so more people are using it. But there are a lot of interesting facts about Android's demographic. Also, for example, Android users are on average pretty young, mostly between the 18 to 44 year old range. And 60% at the end of 2012 were under the age of 34. So Android has a lot of young men in its audience. So obviously a lot of the people who watch my videos are also young men. So I can kind of understand where that demographic comes from. But yeah, there is a pretty interesting demographic for Android phone users. Number two is that Andy, the Android mascot, was not exactly an original creation. A lot of you guys might already know this, but the first draft of the robot was actually lifted from a 1990 Atari Lynx video game console game called Gauntlet the Third Encounter. The character's name was Android, and it had 24 speed, 7 strength, and 9 missiles. Uh, whatever that means for us in today's world, we can probably figure that out. But in the end, you can see it looks very, very similar to the original game character, the way it looks today, down to like the line around where the mouth is, separating the head and the antenna, everything looks similar. But if you're a small game creator back in the 1990s, especially when that game wasn't that popular, you're not gonna sue Google. I mean, it's Google, so. They got away with it, uh, but that's why the Android logo looks the way it does today. And number one, Android in space is an actual thing. In 2010, a British firm launched a Nexus One into orbit as basically the brains of a satellite where it runs scientific experiments and collects data, and it's still there. The satellite has a name, it's called Strand One, but that's an acronym, and it actually stands for Surrey Training, Research, and Nanosatellite Demonstrator. According to the firm that is in charge of this whole deal, SSTL, the Nexus One that is part of this satellite will be running apps that collect scientific data will take pictures of the Earth using its five megapixel camera, state of the art back then, and it will also actually be able to detect when the temperature is getting too low, and it will just ramp up the CPU and run some intensive apps to get the battery temperature back up because you have to prevent the battery from freezing. So it actually knows when it should be running apps that are really hardcore to keep the battery temperature up, and that's actually pretty neat, to be honest. Along with its serious purposes, Strand is said to have an app on board that will run called Scream in Space, which as you can imagine, will emit a noise and basically test the whole in space, no one can hear you scream theory. 
and uh, their whole working with that experiment. There's a whole bunch of neat stuff it's doing. Again, I'll leave some links below to check out what you want to learn about that. But to be honest, uh, there are no uh, competing iPhone satellites yet, but supposedly there's some problems with Apple Maps. Either way, the fact that the thing is still up there and is doing well is pretty cool. And uh, that's basically it. Those are some neat facts about Android. Either way, that's been it. Uh, some honorable mentions, I guess, would go to the fact that these things have names. The Android versions have names. Starting from A all the way to the current letter of the alphabet, they've all been dessert names. So if you've noticed, Astro, Bender, Cupcake, Donut, Eclair, Froyo, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, and uh, probably key lime pie and lemon cake and a whole bunch of others as we get all the way through the alphabet. I don't know what X is going to be. I don't know what Z is going to be, but it'll be fun to see what Android uh, names these things. Either way, that's it. Quick video, guys. Just wanted to give you guys some fun facts about Android. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see some other videos similar to it, I'll have a playlist down below with my other top fives. And if you want to subscribe, you'll be able to see all the other videos I put out. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.